All right, just finished my reel. Let me go ahead and export it through Media Encoder. All right, that shouldn't take too long. Let me go ahead and just preview it really quick so there's no issues. All right. What the f Hey everybody. Hopefully you like that intro, but I do want to talk to you about what uh, I kind of stumbled upon with Adobe Media Encoder. Now, this isn't any shade uh, against Adobe. I know I have made previous videos about Adobe Premiere Pro and having some issues in there, but I have recently been using Premiere on a couple of client projects for some social media video marketing that I've been doing for them. And I've actually just recently stumbled upon this situation because I just wanted to go back to bulk exporting through Media Encoder, but uh, there's a pretty big issue that I have not been able to fix just yet, but I have been able to recreate it multiple times with different kind of footage, and uh, I really don't know what's going on. But I do wanna let you guys know about this, and uh, if any of you guys have a resolution, please let me know down in the comments. I would really like to fix this because I would like to bulk export using Media Encoder, but otherwise, I'm gonna to continue to try to solve this situation here, and once I do, uh, go ahead, I will go ahead and let you guys know. So if you wanna subscribe and hopefully get an update on this fix, then uh, go ahead and do that. But otherwise, let's hop into my computer and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so as you can see here, um, I've got just a video that I, uh, it was a reel actually, that I recorded on my camera, and I, I just edited it and I threw in some footage here. So we've got 4K S-Log3 10-bit footage. On each size of these, you can um, see that it is a clip that I have in 4K that was shot on my Sony FX3. Now in the middle here, I have an iPhone footage. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention this, but in the export, the blue tint only applies to the camera footage. It actually doesn't apply to the cell phone footage, which is super strange. Here, take a look real quick. For some reason, the cell phone footage comes out completely fine, but as you can see here, blue tint, blue tint. That's a grip, that's a bad face. Blue tint, that it was about an unboxing. And so really this, this reel is about uh, kind of an intro and an outro of me talking to the camera. And then we also have my iPhone, which I actually recorded the unboxing um, of the Sony ECM XM1 microphone, which I'm currently using now. And I've actually been enjoying it. So. If you like the sound and audio, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I, I'd really like to, everything sounds good on my end, at least, but um, if you guys have any feedback on it, I'd like to know that. Otherwise, you can see here that we've got the iPhone footage here. Now I've got two sequences. One because um, Instagram Reels is only 60 seconds long, and then we have um, TikTok, which I have uh, up to 10 minutes. So that's why we have two different timelines here. So one sequence is, I think, two and a half. Yeah, yeah, two and a half uh, minutes. And then this second sequence is actually just 59 seconds. At, uh, yeah, 59 seconds, just under for Instagram Reels. So this is my Instagram uh, video, and then we also have a TikTok video. So if you're not following any of those, you can definitely check these videos out. This Reel will probably, should be posted by the time this video is coming out. But uh, what I am talking about here is when I go ahead and export this, there's two ways that you can, well, actually there's three ways that you can export. There's one in the quick export here at the very top right, just quick export. These are just basic settings and presets that you have listed here. I made a custom IG Reel um, preset, so that's just uh, some of the settings that I like to use for IG Reels. If you want me to go through those settings, I definitely can. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will go ahead and get on that. But otherwise, we're not gonna talk about that today. And so I, that's what I have here listed for that. And you can just do a quick export right here. It won't touch anything other, no other details, nothing else. And that's pretty quick. As long as you're doing the entire sequence too. If you're not, if you have an in and out point of a segment of your timeline, then you'll obviously have to go to this. Or if you hit Command M, we go to export. Um, this is the file name, location, here's my preset again. And then obviously you can get into this and just customize it a little bit more. Now here is the issue that I'm running into. So when I export using this screen right here, hit go down to the lower right hand corner, um, hit export, everything comes out just fine. The color comes out just fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that really quick. So I've already tested this out and the color is just fine as you can 
as you can see, this is a really, this is, looks great. That's a handsome man right there. Now, I've, I've redid both of these reels and TikToks in these short form video con, I'm just gonna call them short form. So I exported both of these short form videos using this method, and then I tried it through Media Encoder. This is what I run into. So at the lower right hand, right next to export, you can see send to Media Encoder. I've already sent it a couple times, and if you want me to, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it just so that you can see. But I did copy one here, <clears throat> and it's blue. This looks entirely different than this. And, and it's happened multiple times. It happened with these two uh, short form videos. It happened with another video that I was doing for a client. And for some reason, Media Encoder is adding this blue tint to it. And I've taken a look at some of my settings and I've changed a couple of things and I've tried to re-export through Media Encoder as well, but it's still adding this blue tint. So really like using Media Encoder because you have a, if you're doing social media video marketing, if you've got a lot of short form videos, if you just wanna do it in bulk, I wouldn't use Media Encoder. Um, it's super frustrating really because I do a lot of short form content for a client. Um, I cut up a lot of their longer form pieces and I throw it in Media Encoder and I, and, and I would export it and it would look fine. But somewhere along the lines in the most recent update, it's added this blue tint. Now, um, the last time that I did this uh, for a client was probably last month. Um, I know they came out with an update. I don't know the exact date. I'll try to list it somewhere around here when I figure that out in post. But there, there's, a, there's a blue tint and that's a pretty big issue, um, especially if for somebody like me who is exporting you know, 10, 12, 15 short form video clips all at once because I wanna go do something else or I wanna work on the rest of the clips. I just keep adding them into Media Encoder and, and that's what I'm running into and this blue tint is a big issue. And it did it with this one and it did it with these copies as well. Blue tint, blue tint. <laughs> And so it did, it did it with those. It did it also with another uh, form. Let me see if I can get to it. Oh, so this is a little promo video that I did. And as you can see here, this is where it first happened because I put both of these in Media Encoder and I, and I, and I had to let it know that this is the blue tint here. So here is what it typically starts out. It's a CrossFit gym. And then this is what came out in the Media Encoder. And these, um, segments, everything that looks fine is directly going, it, it being exported from Premiere Pro. Now, I don't know what the issue is here. I have not let Adobe know about this. Um, maybe somebody else has, I don't know. I don't know if this issue is actively being worked on or not, but I am gonna start trying to figure out what is going on between the communication from Adobe Premiere Pro to Media Encoder. I've done my best to check all of my media encoder settings, but if I'm missing something, please let me know in the comments below if you have a fix for this or if you have some ideas on how to fix this. My current system right now is a 2021 Apple um, M1, the original M1 chip, and I think it's done well in this case, but for some reason these Adobe programs just haven't really translated that well to the M1 chip. I know a lot of people say they have, Maybe I just have a really basic M1 chip, but uh, everything else works fine. Final Cut Pro works like a dream. Uh, DaVinci Resolve works great. So if you guys have a fix, seriously, please let me know because I really want this issue fixed. Let me know down in the comments, I need a fix. And if you have considered using Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, Media Encoder, um, I, I would just stay away from it, at least for the time being until we, until we know of a fix. Um, seriously, no shade to Adobe. I, I want to use Premiere Pro, but if it's gonna continue to cause issues like this, really small issues, then I, I'm gonna have to use a different program. Guys, if you have a fix for this Media Encoder blue tint export issue, please let me know down in the comments. Appreciate it, guys. See you in the next one.